Speaker. A quorum is present. Without objection, the chair is authorized. You're, you're good. The chair is authorized to declare a recess at any time. Pursuant to rule, pursuant to committee rule 5B and House Rule 11, Clause 2, the chair may postpone further proceedings today on the question of approving any measure or matter or adopting an amendment on which a recorded vote or the yeas and nays are ordered. Now, pursuant to notice, I call up a report containing a resolution recommending that the House of Representatives find Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress for refusal to comply with a subpoena duly issued by this committee. The clerk will report which has been distributed in advance. A report containing the House, a House resolution recommending that the House of Representatives find Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt of Congress for refusal to comply with the subpoena duly issued by this committee. I ask unanimous consent that the report be considered as read and open for amendment at any point. Without objection, so ordered, the chair recognizes himself to offer an amendment in the nature of a substitute. The clerk will please report the amendment. An amendment in the nature of a substitute offered to the contempt report as offered by Mr. Comer of Kentucky. Without objection, the amendment is considered as read and the substitute will be considered as original text for the purposes of further amendment. I now recognize myself for five minutes for a statement on the report. Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Chair, uh, recognize Mr. McDonald. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, for the purposes of this hearing, I move that debate be structured to one hour on the ANS 30 minutes each side and 10 minutes on every debate that might be entered during this uh, hearing of the Oversight Committee. Mr. Chairman, objection. I object to that. All right, there's an objection, so we'll uh, vote. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, maybe, maybe we heard on the motion. Yeah, there's a motion. And All right, we'll suspend. Mr. Chairman, but my objection consists of this. Um, he cannot move to override the rules of the House of Representatives. Um, and we know exactly how debate is to occur, which is the way we usually proceed in debate. So I, I don't think we have the power to do that. Mr. Mr. Chairman, if I may, uh, this committee has already done that uh, earlier in this very Congress. We, issued, we went into structured debate on a couple of items a few months ago. Yes, by unanimous consent only. So I've objected to it. I mean, if the gentleman wants to take it to a vote, we can take it to a vote. Mr. Gentleman, you? By all means. But why do we want to limit debate on this anyway? Yeah. If I may, uh, uh, I, I, I rise in support. I, okay. Uh, we're going to suspend and call the parliamentarian to get the official ruling, correct? Okay. So it may, it may take five. I'm estimating five minutes. Fine, Mr. Chairman. In the meantime, I have a, parliament, a parliamentary inquiry of my own. Um, can you? Well, I, th I think we were suspended. Oh, I just thought in order to save time, if you had other parliamentary inquiries, you could take them, no? Yeah, yeah. Uh, no? No. We, we, let's get the ruling from the parliamentarian, then we'll proceed.
All right. Uh, the committee will come back to order. The motion is out of order. I'll now recognize myself for for five minute opening statement. But Mr. Chairman, can I just pursue my parliamentary inquiry? Um, could, will you just explain why this markup was delayed to 8 p.m., throwing everybody's schedule into chaos today and the buildings closed to the public? Well, why was that done? Okay, that's not a, an appropriate inquiry. The time of the meeting is not an appropriate procedural no, your, inquiry? Your inquiry is not an appropriate parliamentary inquiry. So let's get back to order. Recognize myself for opening statement. Today's markup initiates contempt of Congress proceedings against U.S. Attorney Merrick Garland for defying a subpoena from the Oversight Committee. The committee's February subpoena required the Department of Justice to produce audio recordings of President Biden's interview with the special counsel investigating his mishandling and improper disclosure of classified materials. The department has chosen not to produce them. That's why we're here today. This is not a complicated subject. The Oversight Committee requires these audio recordings, and the Department of Justice has refused to provide them. We're not in court. The accommodations process has been exhausted. We are not making a request. The subpoena requires production. We are not requiring anything that interferes with an ongoing investigation. The special counsel already concluded his investigation by choosing not to charge President Biden because he is an, quote, elderly man with a poor memory, end quote. This morning, the Department of Justice informed the committee that the president has asserted executive privilege over the audio recordings of the president's interview with special counsel Her, President Biden's decision to withhold the audio recording from Congress is alarming. The committee has already obtained the transcript of the interview. President Biden must have something to hide because it does not make sense that he would suppress the audio if the transcript was accurate. There is no substitute, as the many lawyers on this committee will tell you, for a recording of an actual conversation, not a summary, not a report, not a transcript. The White House has shown it is willing to alter transcripts to protect Joe Biden's image. We will not simply take the Justice Department's word about this interview. It is not the Department of Justice's decision how to cooperate with a subpoena, just like the people who receive subpoenas from DOJ do not get to negotiate their compliance. The Department of Justice is not above Congress. It is not above the law. It is also not President Biden's decision to assert executive privilege on audio recordings when the transcript has already been released. In 1974, the House rejected an attempt by President Nixon to release a transcript instead of subpoenaed audio recordings. And there should be bipartisan support to reject it here too. Not long ago, a very distinguished member of this committee said, and I quote, the lesson is, Please tell your children out there in America, if you get a subpoena to go before Congress, if you get a subpoena to go to the court, go. You have a legal responsibility to go, end quote. That distinguished member was none other than ranking member Jamie Raskin in 2022, only two years ago. Now ranking member Raskin has spent this Congress making excuses for why people like Hunter Biden or now the Department of Justice don't have to comply with congressional subpoenas. On January 10th, 2023, this committee announced an investigation into President Biden's mishandling of classified documents. Two days later, on January 12th, 2023, the Attorney General announced his intent to appoint a special counsel to oversee the criminal investigation of President Biden. While the special counsel pursued this in his investigation, the committee did its own work and found facts that have challenged the White House's official narrative about these classified materials. Months of thorough investigating by this committee have revealed attempts by the White House to keep the truth from the American people, not just about the documents themselves and why Joe Biden had them, but President Biden's memory and mental capacity to do his job. The committee's timeline begins well before the White House's narrative that President Biden's private lawyers just stumbled upon classified materials in November 2022 at the Penn Biden Center. May 24th, 2022, six months before the White House's story began, the White House counsel, Dana Remus, contacted a Biden former employee to retrieve President Biden's materials from the Penn Biden Center and then traveled there herself 
to pick up boxes. Why would the most senior lawyer at the White House be going to pack up an office that was supposed to have just have pictures and personal documents in it? Why were President Biden's personal lawyers visiting the Penn Biden Center days before the discovery of classified materials if they thought they were just picking up pictures and letters? Why were they calling FedEx to pick up boxes and a White House employee was leaving with boxes before the November 2nd discovery? Now the White House won't permit this committee to depose Dana Remus. The White House won't allow any of the employees that entered the Penn Biden Center before November 2022 to speak with the committee. What is the White House afraid of? Why not be transparent and open with this committee and the American people? For that matter, what are Democrats on this committee who oppose the release of these audio recordings afraid of? The recordings will just be President Biden speaking. What is it that would make them nervous about that? It's because they know, once again, President Biden has not been honest. He hasn't been honest about his family's foreign entanglements. He hasn't been honest about mishandling classified documents. And if the Democrats were honest, they'd admit President Biden's mental capacity is declining. Americans see it happening every day. In fact, six in ten Americans don't have confidence in Joe Biden's mental capacity. If the Attorney General wants to defy Congress and not produce the audio recordings, he will face consequences for those actions. The path before us is clear. I urge this committee to move forward with holding Attorney General Merrick Garland in contempt. I now recognize the ranking member. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, in this special nighttime episode, uh, we resume the madcap comedy mystery series called Comer's High Crimes and Misadventures, the hilarious quest to impeach a president who has done nothing wrong, an avowedly low-budget but multi-million dollar taxpayer-funded production, which most Americans assumed had ended two months ago and had completely forgotten about. But tonight, with the cast and crew now fresh back from a surprise... You mean trip like the New January 6th committee? Uh, I, uh -uh. I, Stop it. I, I'd like my time restored to me, Mr. Chairman. Order, order. Chair recognizes ranking member. Okay. Order. Order, order. Well, tonight with the cast and crew fresh back from their surprise trip to New York City, it's clear the show must go on. Now, our originally scheduled performance has, um, was supposed to be at 11 a.m. today, but it was postponed when members of the majority chose to join a mass spiritual pilgrimage to the New York criminal trial of a Florida man, an adjudicated fraudster and rapist, as he faces 34 felony counts of falsifying corporate financial records to cover up $130,000 paid in hush money to a porn star sex partner. Now, although some people are churlishly complaining that members should be actually be here to vote on public business and should not have forced a last-minute change in the committee schedule, our colleagues properly demonstrated for all of history their fierce devotion to this clearly reformed, devout, and pious Florida spiritual leader who many supporters are now calling the Messiah from Mar-a-Lago. Of course... In the meantime, Chairman it. Jordan in the House Judiciary Won't Committee. Won't the gentleman yield? Pre preempted. Uh, no, I'm in the middle Sir, of the I appreciate that photo. It's a good I, photo. Uh, yeah. I, I would like a copy of that. Uh, uh, with uh, it. Would you like a signed one, Raskin? Yes, I would. Uh, could could I, you I get your to, members uh, on, in order, Mr. Yes. Chairman? It's a great so order, photo. I want a copy order, of it. Order. Mr. Chairman. Uh, in the meantime, Chairman Jordan in the House Judiciary Committee preempted our GOP colleagues on oversight, rendering this entire exercise not only absurd, but completely meaningless and redundant. They have already held Attorney General Garland purportedly in contempt. Now, when we last met on this matter, you will recall that the majority still had not identified a single high crime or misdemeanor that the president had committed. The committee's impressive 3.8 million pages of documents and 80 hours of testimony from 20 witnesses produced nothing but overwhelming and definitive proof that President Biden had done nothing wrong. So desperate for a new storyline, Republicans have come up with this astonishing new plot twist. They now propose to hold the Attorney General of the United States in contempt for giving the committee the information it asked for. And it is information that has absolutely nothing to do with their failed impeachment investigation or any high crimes or misdemeanors. 
Now, true fans of the show will recall from prior episodes this plot device of punishing people for complying with committee orders. But this new episode of not taking yes for an answer sends us off into strange new worlds of absurdity where no congressional committee has truly ever gone before. The majority wanted to know what President Biden said in his voluntary interview with special counsel Herr. And maybe there was an impeachable diamond lurking in the rough. So the Justice Department complied with the request. It turned over the 250-page transcript of President Biden's five-hour interview with the special counsel. We had a hearing on it in this committee. The special counsel came, and there was nothing impeachable there. If there had been, you would have taken up Mr. Moskowitz's offer, and you would have voted on impeachment after it happened. But you didn't. Committee members and millions of Americans got to read the entire transcript and can read it right now if they like. We all can learn what the president was asked and see how he answered each and every question. But the chairman insists that's not enough. He and the rest of America are clearly able to read the interview, but he wants to be able to hear the interview. The book is not sufficient. He wants the audio book. And because of this gratuitous and comical request, the whole troop now seeks to hold the Attorney General of the United States of America in contempt. Anyone watching can grasp the fallacy cleverly tucked into this new special primetime episode. There is nothing relevant or material that our committee can learn from an audio tape which we cannot learn from the 250 pages of the transcript. The format of the medium does not change the content of the communications. So in this absurd twist, our friends now seek to blame the spectacular belly flop of their own impeach impeachment probe on Attorney General Garland and his sneaky effort to obstruct the investigation by cooperating with it. We know what real obstruction looks like because the last president specialized in it. This president agreed to sit down for a voluntary five-hour interview with the special counsel investigating him. Um, Attorney General Garland turned over the complete 250-page transcript interview. That's not obstruction. Real obstruction was Trump and his administration refusing to provide information Congress requested in more than 100 different congressional investigations and inquiries. And I know that pleases the gentlelady from Georgia because he issued... I just want to hear Joe Biden. Why can't the American people hear him? Order, Mr. Order. Chairman. Get her under control. He, President like Trump... President Trump issued an edict. No, I, 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 am glad, I am glad that the gentlelady from Georgia is learning something tonight, okay? The, the president, I, 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 encourage, I encourage her to be a good listener, and she's been, she's been a good listener. So, <laughs> Mr. Chairman, the last president issued an edict directing all federal, issue, all federal officials in his administration to categorically ignore and reject all congressional subpoenas. Do my colleagues remember that? Do they know that? He told them not to cooperate with any federal investigation at all by Congress. And we didn't hear a peep from any of them. That was real obstruction. Real obstruction happened when two members of this committee, who may be preparing to vote tonight to hold Attorney General Garland in contempt, brazenly refused to comply with subpoenas from the U.S. House Select Committee to investigate the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol and still have not responded to those subpoenas. But now it seems, Mr. Chairman, I just got past something that the whole obstruction gimmick may just be a fundraising ploy, which demeans the overwhelming legal integrity uh, and impressive theatrical ambitions of this enterprise. I was just handed a mass fundraising email solicitation for your campaign that you sent out this evening, Mr. Chairman, stating that, quote, Biden and his advisors are terrified that I will release the recordings, forcing the media and Democrats to answer for the dismal decline of Biden's mental state. This could be the final blow to Biden with swing voters across the country. The Democrats are pulling out all the stops to stop the bleeding, signed James Comer, Chairman, House Oversight Committee. Now, I must confess my disappointment to be handed this fundraising solicitation signed by you as chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Um, I thought that you were serious about 
the legal enterprise here and not just another political huckster calling hearings to score cheap political points and to make a buck. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to ask unanimous consent to enter into the record the full and complete 250-page transcript of the President's interview with Special Counsel Herr, which we have now had in our committee for more than two months. Without objection, so ordered. And I know that some people may think this is a big Broadway production now with everybody's trip to the Big Apple, but it is high time to close this unhinged series and get back to some semblance of the people's work. We have the interview transcript. We have the President's words. There's no basis for this outlandish contempt proceeding, which only further disgraces our committee along with judiciary. Accordingly, Mr. Chairman, uh, and since your members seem to be in such a hurry to be done with this, I move to immediately adjourn these proceedings. Seconded. So, so in your opening statement, you move to adjourn? I'm moving to adjourn these proceedings. Second. Motion and second. All those in favor of adjourn, adjournment signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, no. 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 The no's have it. Motion fails. Now, do any other members wish to be heard? Recorded vote. A recorded vote has been requested. Uh, the clerk will call the roll. We got our thing. A procedural vote, we have to vote the old-fashioned way. Mr. Jordan. Mr. Turner. Mr. Gosar. Mr. Gosar votes no. Ms. Fox. Ms. Fox votes no. Mr. Grothman. Mr. Grothman votes no. Mr. Cloud. Mr. Cloud votes no. Mr. Palmer. Mr. Palmer votes no. Mr. Higgins. Mr. Higgins votes no. Mr. Sessions. Mr. Sessions votes no. Mr. Biggs. Mr. Biggs votes no. Miss Mace. Miss Mace votes no. Mr. Laturner. Mr. Laturner votes no. Mr. Fallon. Mr. Fallon votes no. Mr. Donalds. Mr. Donalds votes no. Mr. Perry. Mr. Perry votes no. Mr. Timmons. Mr. Timmons votes no. Mr. Burchett. No. Mr. Burchett votes no. Ms. Green. No. Ms. Green votes no. Ms. McLean. Ms. Bobert. No. Ms. Bobert votes no. Mr. Fry. Mr. Fry votes no. Ms. Luna. Ms. Luna votes no. Mr. Langworthy. Mr. Langworthy votes no. Mr. Burleson. Mr. Burleson votes no. Mr. Waltz. Mr. Waltz votes no. Mr. Raskin. Aye. Mr. Raskin votes aye. Ms. Norton. Yes. Ms. Norton votes yes. Mr. Lynch. Aye. Mr. Lynch votes aye. Mr. Connolly. Aye. Mr. Connolly votes aye. Mr. Krishnamurthy. Mr. Krishnamurthy votes aye. Mr. Khanna. Mr. Mfume. Aye. Mr. Mfume votes aye. Ms. Ocasio-Cortez. Aye. Ms. Ocasio-Cortez votes aye. Ms. Porter. Aye. Ms. Porter votes aye. Ms. Bush. <laughs> Ms. Brown. Ms. Brown votes yes. Ms. Stansbury. Ms. Stansbury votes yes. Mr. Garcia. Mr. Garcia votes aye. Mr. Frost. Mr. Frost votes yes. Ms. Lee. Ms. Lee votes yes. Mr. Kassar. Mr. Kassar votes yes. Ms. Crockett. Aye. 
Ms. Crockett votes aye. Mr. Goldman. Mr. Goldman votes aye. Mr. Moskowitz. Mr. Moskowitz votes aye. Ms. Tlaib. Ms. Tlaib votes yes. Ms. Presley. Ms. Presley votes aye. Mr. Chairman. I vote yes, and how did Mr. Jordan vote? I mean, I vote no. I'm sorry, I vote no. The chairman votes no. Yeah. How did Mr. Jordan record it? Mr. Jordan is not recorded. No. Mr. Chor Jordan votes no. Mr. Chairman, on this vote, the nays are 24, the ayes are 19. The noes have it. The motion to adjourn fails. Do is any Mr. Chairman, other move other to strike the last word. Recognition. Mr. Chairman, move to strike the last word. Chair, chair recognizes Mr. Moskowitz. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. All right. So, welcome to Oversight After Dark. If if you love James Comer at 11 o'clock in the morning, you're really going to love him at 8:30 p.m. So. Members, uh, the hearing was moved today. We don't have to ask the question. The hearing was moved today so that members could go to New York and attend the Trump hearing. How, but how's he doing? He's complained that he's chilly in the courtroom. Is it, is it chilly? Is it chilly? Will the gentleman yield? No, I'll assume it's he's chilly. He's doing very good. Okay, good. So, um, you know, it was mentioned uh, by the, the ranking member about really what we're doing here. You don't, you don't have to listen to my words. I would like to do a spirited reading of the campaign email sent out by the chairman. And it's on lovely stationery. In fact, it says, from the desk of the oversight chairman. I'm not sure you can do that, but I'm not an ethics expert. It says, friend, President Biden is exerting executive privilege in a last-ditch attempt to stop the disastrous audio recording of his interview with special counsel from being released. And it's highlighted in yellow. I want to make sure people saw that. Just a few months ago, the White House bragged that Joe Biden had nothing to hide and would not exert executive privilege during special counsel Hur's investigation. They even said he had nothing to hide. And that's in italics. Now Biden and his advisors are terrified that I, James Comer, will release the recordings, forcing the media and the Democrats to answer for the dismal decline of Biden's mental state. He even had attorney Merrick Garland write a letter saying that his interview falls within the scope of executive privilege. This could be the final blow with swing voters across the country. Okay. You and I know, you and I know, hold on, we're not done, it gets better. You and I know he's not up for the job, but the mainstream's media refusal to report on it as only keeping him in the game. Stand with Comer, the Democrats. You sure about that? The Democrats are pulling out all the stops to stop the bleeding. That means coming after me with everything they had. If you're able, we hope you are, I'd be so grateful if you'd consider making a donation to my campaign. I sure need it to defend against the onslaught of attacks. Thank you for everything. James Comer, chairman of the House Oversight Committee. Uh, without objection, I'd like to enter that into the record. Without objection, so ordered. All right, beautiful. So again, Mr. Chairman, since you think this is the final blow, right, uh, and obviously the chairman of judiciary is here too. We only have June, July, and September before the election. We're not here in August and October. So, I mean, I'm sure the American people are paying attention at 11.30 p.m. where you buried this hearing because it's so important. When are we going to do the impeachment of Joe Biden? When is that going to happen? Is it going to be June? Is it going to be July? Is it going to be September? I, this, let's, let's just put it on the calendar. Let's just put it on the calendar. Pick a month. We're available. We were available at 11 a.m. You guys weren't. Just pick a month, right, so we can get it on the calendar and, and do the impeachment. So hold on. I'll give you choices. Ready? June. July. How about September? Okay. So we're never going to schedule this thing. It's never going to happen. He's sending out more subpoenas because he has no evidence. Okay? And yet, here we go around and around and around. And so we get it. You'll raise money off of it. Congratulations to you. Uh, you know, if you want, Mr. Chairman, I can get the transcript out. 
I can do a spirited reading. We can sit here. I'll do all 250 pages for you. I'll even put on like a Biden mask, make it visual so you can like really get in the moment. Um, I mean, just, we just want to know, like, what's it going to take, Mr. Chairman, to get you comfortable? You go, you go on Newsmax and you get comfortable. What's it going to take to get you comfortable to ask your friend, Chairman Jordan, sitting next to you, when we're going to schedule impeachment? So we'll do it again. Ready, ready? How about June, July, September? D does the gentleman know how many spare Biden masks there are available in D.C.? I don't, but there's a lot on Etsy. <laughs> there's, I mean, you can get lots of things. Okay, so, uh, you know, look, I'll, I'll yield the balance of my time to the, to the ranking member if he wants to use the last part. Oh, you have something to say, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, please. No, I was going to say you yielded to Ranking Member yeah, Raskin. He has 30 seconds. Go ahead, Mr. Ranking Member. Uh, thank you, Mr. Moskowitz. Um, the, there is an ethics principle that no solicitation of a campaign or political contribution may be linked to an action taken or to be taken by a member or employee in his or her official capacity. That's just a reminder to my side. I hope that nobody is linking specific actions that you're taking on the Oversight Committee to campaign contributions or solicitations. And uh, with that, I'll yield back to the distinguished Chair, gentleman from time's Florida. time's expired. Does any other member seek recognition? Uh, Mr. Chair Chairman, recognizes Ms. Green. I'd like to know if any of the Democrats on this committee are employing uh, Judge Mershon's daughter. Please tell me what that has to do with Mary Garland. Is she a porn star? Oh, Goldman. That's right. He's advising. Okay. He's advising who? What? Do you do you know what we're here for? You know we're here about uh, just AG. A, uh, I don't think you know what you're here for. Well, you the one talking about. I guess I, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up. No, I ain't reading. nothing. Hold on, hold on. Listen. <laughs> Order, Mr. Chairman. That's beneath would even you order, 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 order of your committee. Order, please. There's a point of order. We have a point of order. Uh, Mr. Lynch, state your point. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I, I would just like to ask the parliamentarian if your conduct here in raising money in connection with this hearing uh, is referable to the Ethics Committee within this hearing. Is the motion in order to refer your conduct uh, and, and your abuse of... It's of not a point of order. Mr. Not a point I do order. have a point of order, and I would like uh, to move to, to take down Ms. Green's words. That is absolutely okay. unacceptable. How dare you uh, 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 attack the suspend. physical meeting appearance of another person? Are your move feelings hurt? her words down. Aww. Oh, oh, girl, baby girl. Oh, really? Don't even play. Baby girl, gonna, I don't think We are going to move, and we're going to take your words down. Thank I you second that motion. So, so who will have to... All right, we're suspending. Absolutely. No, we're taking her words down. No way is that being allowed. Let's do it. Let's go. 
That's what it is. That's all it is. <laughs> She's not she used to people say, talking back to she her. She doesn't want to say sorry to nobody for nothing. <laughs> She's going to learn. <laughs> I'll ask. Uh, yeah. No. No. The committee will reconvene. Miss uh, Miss Green has four minutes and twenty-one seconds. There's a motion. Uh, Miss Green, do you wish to strike your words? I have four minutes and twenty-one seconds to speak. I, I think we have to do the motion first, and then un unless there's another motion. Uh, then, then you'll be recognized again. But I believe there's another motion coming. So, you agree to strike your words? Yeah. I'll okay. Agree. Ms. Green agrees to strike her words. I believe she's she apologize. No, no, no. no. Perry. Perry. Okay, hold on. Then after Mr. Perry's gonna be recognized, then Ms. Green. I'm not has apologizing. Four minutes and well, seconds. then okay, reserve the right to object. Your words. I am You're not apologizing. Now let's go. Come on, guys. Why don't you debate me, and Mr. Chairman? Um, the the, the I minority think it's no, self evident. Chair you're not. Yeah, you're, you're not. Out of order. You don't have enough you're intelligence. Out of order. Chair recognizes Mr. Perry. Okay, move to strike the. I move to strike the ladies' words. I move to strike the ladies' words again. That's two requests to strike. That's two requests to strike. Oh, they cannot take the, the words. There's another motion to strike her words again. Please All right, okay, get your here's, under here's the correct the correct apology. Miss Green, do you ask unanimous cons do you agree to unanimous consent to strike your words? I repeat again for the second time. Yes, I'll strike right. my words, that, but I'm not right. apologizing. Without objection. Without not objection. Apologize. I reserve the right to object. No. Chairman, I Prayer reserve the right to object. Mr. Perry. I reserve the right to object. Mr. Chairman, I move that Mr. Goldman's words and Ms. Ocasio-Cortez's words be stricken. Okay. Which words, and you have to do it contemporaneously, object? <clears throat> the objection must be contemporaneous, and yes. they haven't spoken in 10 minutes. Yep. Nobody's spoken in 10 minutes. Well, that's right. Therefore, defeating your proposal. You all have. So those are the, those. Are, that's what I'm. That's my motion, Mr. Chairman. We wasn't. We weren't able to. Well, I, I, I object. It doesn't refer to anything that's on the floor. Ms. Ocasio Cortez objected immediately and instantaneously, as you're supposed to do under the rules and we precedent of the House that, of Representatives. So the first time he could, Mr. Chairman, point, point, point of parliamentary inquiry. Uh, we're we're, we're going to suspend for a minute, but we'll talk to the parliamentary. Object to your objection.
Okay, back. Committee will come back to order. So, Ms. Green asked unanimous consent to strike her words. Mr. Raskin objected. I'm going to recognize Mr. Raskin for his objection. We're not counting against Ms. Green has four minutes and 21 seconds left. This will not count against her time. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I reserve the right to object because the understanding of the minority is that the general lady from Georgia would move to take her words down and strike her words and to offer a sincere apology for having engaged in personalities against another member offending her personal appearance and insulting her. We don't do that in this committee. And I, I think the major problem was that we allowed pornography in this committee and we've gone down a bad road. But in any event, we should not allow face-to-face -face ad hominem insults. It's totally contrary to the rules of the House of Representatives. And, and I would ask Ms. Green if she would just make the apology. It's not that complicated. We don't want to get into face-to-face -face insults. You will never get an apology out of me. Uh, I don't I, owe then you I object. One. Then I object, uh, Mr. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Raskins objects. So the, the, uh, the, commi the member will state the words he wishes taken down or she wishes taken well, down. Well, what I heard her say, but I would like her to repeat the words. What I heard her to say was, um, and you can take off your fake eyelashes, too. Well, then, well, what did you say? I mean, what did you say, Ms. Green? Really? What was... I mean, the, clerk the, the clerk needs to report the words, but those... Okay, the clerk... That was the sum and substance. The clerk will report the words. Clerk will report the words. Mr. Chairman... Mr. Chairman. We could subpoena the audio tape, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> this is great. Release the audio. It, it will just take us a few minutes to get okay. the words. Okay. We'll suspend. Aren't we here for audio? Chairman. I'd like Joe Biden's audio. We're on Celsius train. Celsius, can you grab me one? So what is now Unfortunately, at my apartment sleeping, I was trying to put him down, and then I got sucked into this. You have a lot of... Uh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, there... Are they or are they not fake eyelashes? All right. M Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, um, just a point of order here. I believe there were members who've been interviewed by the media from their seats. Do we allow that? 
They identify as um, clerks. That, that have clerks. Chairman, sorry. What do you like, as clerks? That what? You're not respecting their identity? Wait, they're, they're, someone is being... Do, Okay. The, is that allowed? For, for decorum, the media will evacuate the Mr. well. Mr. Chairman. At the request Mr. of the. Mr. Chairman, Netflix, of the ranking member. Netflix followed Hunter Biden into this room. I don't remember anyone across the aisle complaining about Hunter Biden, his TV film crew, when he came up here. That's a good point. So do you withdraw that? Do you withdraw that, Mr. Okay, uh, Mr. Raskin withdrew the, the this one. So, are we ready to proceed with Ms. Green finishing her four minutes and 21 seconds? What, what, what is the ruling on the, the motion to take her words down? I thought we had an agreement. Okay, I, I, Mr. Chairman, I would just urge you to prevail upon the distinguished gentlelady from Georgia. Uh, her, her words... Um, well, it's very difficult for the stenographer to understand everything with everyone yelling and screaming back and forth. But we went through this with the – I would like to make a point. We went through this with some of the things that Mr. Slawell said in the, the Hunter Biden deposition. Some of the things that he said negative about some of the our staff and the members weren't picked up by the stenographer, unfortunately, because there was so much yelling. Fair enough, Mr. Chairman. But, the, you know, I think we don't want to see a complete dissent um, of our committee. And um, the, the verbatim quote, the ver verbatim quote of the gentlelady was, I think your fake eyelashes are messing up your reading. That is what she said. I think your fake eyelashes. And th that's obviously engaging in personalities. It's an ad hominem attack. And I would just ask every member of this committee, in a fair-minded way, would you want to be talked to um, in that way about your personal appearance by another member of the committee? Because what we're doing is we're setting standards going forward. All the general lady seeks is a simple apology, Ms. Green. Look, here, I, I will say this. Let's, for committee decorum, we're not supposed to engage in personalities of members. That applies to everyone on both sides of the aisle. Mr. Boskowitz, Ms. Green, every single member uh, across the aisle. Can we? <laughs> what did he say? He just threw Moskowitz into it. Can we, are we, I, well, the, can we the, proceed? The motion belongs to the gentlelady from New York, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez. Okay, the clerk, back to order, the clerk will report the stenographer. Mr. Chairman, there was a lot of over-talking, but as far as we can make out, it's, and you can remove your false eyelashes, too. Okay. Exactly. Well, let's have a, a vote on that, because I, I honestly don't think there's a member in this committee who would think we should descend to that level of discourse here, other than one, perhaps. I'm sorry? You, you agree it should be taken down, Mr. Don? Ms. Mr. Raskin, the gentlelady from Georgia already said that she would take, she would strike down her words. What else are we doing past that point? What? I didn't realize apology no, were a matter of... It's an agreement. No, the, of, no, the suggestion was made to the minority that rather than go through the process of formally taking your words down, which means she wouldn't be able to speak for the rest of our hearing, as you know, as you know, that she could continue to speak, but she would t voluntarily uh, the, the, take your words the, the, down the, and offer a sincere I'm gonna apology. Roll, I'm going to roll... Uh, uh, overrule the point of order. Uh, it wasn't personalities. It was undecorous. Uh, and I would encourage, again, every member to abide by committee decorum, and let's vote. We all know what we're here for. You're either going to vote for Mr. it or against Chairman. it. Mr. Chairman. And, and the lady from Georgia has four minutes and 21 seconds Mr. remaining. Mr. Chairman, point of order. I appeal the ruling of the chair, Mr. Chairman, because the rules provide that you cannot insult another member's personal appearance or attire. Mm -hmm. And that is obviously part of engaging in personalities. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, mm -hmm. Mr. Chairman. Hold on, hold on. We have so many motions. We're sitting here trying to. All right, there's, there's now a motion to table 
Mr. Raskin's motion. No, but I, so I was appealing your motion. The, the, the motion by Mr. Perry, seconded by I don't uh, believe Mr. you can Gosar. table motion. I, I don't believe you can table. It's not eligible to table. It's not eligible to table. We can table the appeal. We can table the appeal. Can, I don't know if we can table. Is the it underlying motion. To strike? We can table the appeal. There's a motion in second to table the appeal. Okay, the, just to be clear, your ruling was that she had not engaged in personalities? Mr. Is, is Chairman, that, when ruling? do I have my I four said, minutes and 21 seconds? I've already ruled. I've already ruled. I've already ruled. Mr. Vote. Chairman, point of order. Right, so no, I, no, there's a motion to vote on. It's not debatable. Motion by Mr. Perry, seconded by Mr. Gosar to table. All those in favor of tabling signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, no. 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 Motion uh, passes to table. The, now, move for the eyes and the knees. recognizes Ms. Green. Recorded. I want to move for the eyes and the knees. A recorded, recorded vote. vote. A recorded vote to table has been requested. The clerk will call the roll on the table. I Amendments at the desk. Mr. Jordan. I have an amendment at the desk. Well, we, we're, the, we're voting on a requested roll call vote on whether or not to table. She started the roll call with Mr. Jordan. Mr. Turner. Mr. Gosar. Mr. Gosar votes yes. Ms. Fox. Ms. Fox votes yes. Mr. Grothman. Mr. Grothman votes yes. Mr. Cloud. Mr. Cloud votes yes. Mr. Palmer. Mr. Palmer votes aye. Mr. Higgins. Mr. Higgins votes yes. Mr. Sessions. Mr. Sessions votes aye. Mr. Biggs. Mr. Biggs votes aye. Miss Mace. Ms. Mace votes aye. Mr. Letourner. Mr. Letourner votes aye. Mr. Fallon. Mr. Fallon votes aye. Mr. Donalds. Mr. Donalds votes yes. Mr. Perry. Mr. Perry votes aye. Mr. Timmons. Mr. Timmons votes aye. Mr. Burchett. Mr. Burchett votes aye. Ms. Green. Aye. Ms. Green votes aye. Ms. McLean. Ms. Bobert. Present. Ms. Bobert votes present. Mr. Fry. Mr. Fry votes aye. Ms. Luna. Ms. Luna votes aye. Mr. Langworthy. Mr. Langworthy votes aye. Mr. Burleson. Mr. Burleson votes aye. Mr. Waltz. Mr. Raskin. Mr. Raskin votes no. Ms. Norton. No. Ms. Norton votes no. Mr. Lynch. Mr. Lynch votes no. Mr. Connolly. Nay. Mr. Connolly votes nay. Mr. Krishnamurthy. No. Mr. Krishnamurthy votes no. Mr. Khanna. Mr. Mfume. No. Mr. Mfume votes no. Ms. Acasio Cortez. Ms. Acasio Cortez votes no. Ms. Porter. No. Ms. Porter votes no. Ms. Bush. Ms. Brown. Ms. Brown votes no. Ms. Stansbury. Ms. Stansbury votes no. Mr. Garcia. Mr. Garcia votes no. Mr. Frost. Mr. Frost votes no. Ms. Lee. Ms. Lee votes no. Mr. Kassar. Mr. Kassar votes no. Ms. Crockett. No. Ms. Crockett votes no. 
Mr. Goldman. Mr. Goldman votes no. Mr. Moskowitz. Mr. Moskowitz votes no. Ms. Talib. Ms. Talib votes no. Ms. Presley. Ms. Presley votes no. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman votes yes. Mr. Chairman, on this vote, the ayes are 21, the nays are 19, with one voting present. All right, motion table. Now the chair recognizes Ms. Green for four minutes and 21 seconds. Mr. Chair, point of order. Who's, who's? It's me. Ms. Crockett. I'm just curious, just to better understand your ruling, if someone on this committee then starts talking about somebody's bleach blonde, bad built butch body, that would not be engaging in personalities, correct? A uh, uh, what now? Chairman, I'm I, make a, I make a motion to strike those I, words. I don't, I don't think that's Hold a on. part I'm of it. I'm trying to find clarification on what qualifies. Chairman, I, I motion to strike no those words. I have no idea what you just said. We're not gonna, we're not gonna do this. Look, you guys, Earlier, literally just, oh, you just, you you just voted to do it. Did it first, so you don't want to do it. Order, order. order. I'm trying to get okay. clarification. Look at, calm down. Calm no, down. No, 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 because this I is what y'all right. do. So I'm trying hey, to get clarification. Hey, Ms. Crockett, you're not recognized. Ms. Crockett. I can't hear you with your yelling. Don't want me to Calm down. No, don't tell me to calm down. Calm down. Because y'all talk noise, and then you can't take it. Because if I come and talk shit about her, y'all don't have a problem. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman. All right, Chair. Chair, okay, you're, you're order. Chair like now that. recognizes Miss Green for for four minutes and twenty one seconds. Four minutes. Let Miss Green talk, and then you all can. I'll recognize. But I, I move to side. strike her words for a second time, based on her second set of personal remarks attacking another member. Who? Chairman Comer, because you all cannot see to desk, apply the, the rules show, of the committee, stop. we have to do this every time. Hey, I, I'm, I'm recognized. Look, look. I'm recognized. Order, order. I'm going to go I, ahead I, and start I, I, talking. Look, I, I know. I know. Look, I don't know if you've noticed it. I have two hearing aids. I'm very deaf. I'm not understanding. Everybody's yelling. I'm doing the best I can. Can we not recognize Ms. Green and let we her We cannot get? because of the rules of the committee, Mr. Chair. That is uh, that is what I'm trying to communicate in the present moment. We have a motion. Okay, what's the motion? The, the motion, motion is to strike the gentlelady's words for the second set of remarks, not the first, the second. She that apply no to idea. me. She has no idea. I think, Mr. Chairman, I'm the only the one words, recognized words, right now. The, the, we objected at the time. The, the, will, the, the, will the member state the word she wishes yes. struck? She told me, or she, she asserted, that I was not intelligent. These are the specific words. Like, we can have it read for, by the clerk. It, I, I, it was made immediately. And it was, it was made, made immediately. immediately. I am not I, moving I, I now. I don't think it was timely. I am not moving now. It was made now. immediately both by the gentleman and by me. Mr. Chair, uh, so it was made immediately. It was made immediately both by the gentleman and by me. And he said that you would return to us. Yes. He said, you don't have the intelligence to talk to me, is what she said. <laughs> the chair recognizes... Ms. Green for four minutes and 21 seconds. Mr. Chair, uh, what is no. happening with the, the ruling? I object to the ruling now. We must object. I mean, it, if you want to take it up. <laughs> Move on. Yeah. Move on. We should have just adjourned. Yeah. Yeah. Because the, okay. I was so here stay or turn her mic off. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just glad that these chairs are too good to throw. <laughs> this, is, this is not our side of chairs. Mr. Chairman, a point of order. Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman, on a point of order. 
Motion on the table. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that goes to right, right away. Yeah. To a People time certain tomorrow. Call the cast to a time call certain call tomorrow. That way, yeah, we'll take yeah, this up again. Motion to reset it, wouldn't it? To a to day. day. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna rule this doctor. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. We got it. We got it. We got it. All right. Okay. All right. Back in order. The committee will come back to order. Uh, the chair rules to strike the word that Miss Green said, where she said that Miss Ocasio Cortez was not. What, that she lacked the intelligence okay. to speak to her when, in okay. fact, Ms. Ocasio-Cortez is a I brilliant you member of get, get so anything on me. <laughs> no, we should be on the record with what was happening. Okay, she, I, we struck the words that she said, you're not intelligent. That, are we good on that? No, no. I, the words we have need, been struck. No, it was, I, no, no, no. It was to well, take the words well, down. Chair, yeah, we're Mr. Good. Chairman. Mr. Goldman, you're out of order. Listen. Mr. Chairman, her motion was to take her words down, not to strike the words. It, it was to strike the words. That's what Mr. Ocasio Cortez asked. Well, well, okay. Which, which, now. which is to take them down. There's no Which is to take them down. Which is to take them down. Which is to take them down. They've been taken down. All right, then that means down. that Ms. Right. Green has to leave now, the committee. Ms. Goldman, Mr. Speak Goldman, any. you're out of order. Now, I want everyone to, uh, compl to let's comply with the quorum. The chair recognizes Mr. Chairman. Ms. Green from Mr. No, Wait, no, her words no, were taken no, down. No, her words were taken chair, down. That means she cannot like speak. The chair recognizes. If her words are stricken, she cannot not speak. speak in this hearing. Talk to your parliamentarian. She has to get out. Without a motion under unanimous consent, the gentlelady is not permitted to speak for chairman. the rest of the, this session. And we're happy to revive our motion to adjourn, Mr. Chairman. <laughs> I think these 17-hour days might not work for us. Something about working, huh? Yeah, maybe showing up for a vote. <laughs> you have a lot to say, being that you're on retainer for the judge's Chairman? daughter. Sorry, trust fund kids. Mr. Chairman. We should strike those words too. I hope you brought your we, popcorn, Mr. Popcorn. Chair. Strike we those have to strike after those as we well. strike the Mr. fact Chairman. that they called Mar. They were making comments about Marjorie's body, so we can Mr. do this Chairman. all night long. But I have a motion. Mr. Chairman, at this the is desk out of control. Like we we should we should adjourn, Mr. Chairman. Motion at the desk, <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. I think my body's pretty good, and I'm going to be 50 Point of order. this month. I am. I turned 50. Mr. Chairman, Mr. pretty good. Mr. Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Miss. Mr. Chairman, Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, we have some members in the room who are drinking inside the hearing room who are not members of this hearing. Oh. Mr. Chairman. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, we have members who are not on this committee sitting in the hearing we room. We have members drinking. talking who haven't been recognized. Mr. Chairman, point of inquiry. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, point Democrats of Democrats are against uh, Mr. Drinking. Chairman, point of inquiry. Mr. Chairman, Water. we're going to suspend. Go. We're going to suspend for five minutes while our staffs work the parliamentary 
questions out. But, so this committee Mr. has Mr. suspended Chairman. for five minutes. It would be a good time for everyone to go out and take Can a we break. we apologize to Get the American people air. back home five first? Minutes. That would be really committee great. committee will reconvene in five minutes. Sorry we are that we're not 